think about it as a wave. It's going to leave that area, that seat of that explosion where it happened at that we talked about. And then you've got the berm from the railroad track that's directly behind us. Kind of as it hits that berm, it's going to come up, it's going to come back down. As it hits any other items that are in there, structures, uh, larger items, you're going to get what we call a bit of deflection through that process. So as it's making contact, that blast wave is with these items, we may see a deflection pattern, we may see a movement, an up and down movement. The easiest way to describe it is think of a wave going out and it may come up and down with it. So that's the easiest way to, to think about the blast. I believe that we're working off of a 37 square block area that was affected so but again that's not a definitive range that's just kind of what we're working with at this point